Hello everyone and welcome back to Equilinox where apparently no, a carrot with a strange mutation has apparently been born, but I missed it. Oh my gosh. I know there is a way to find out what has just happened. Is it the progress panel? I don't think it's the progress panel. Somebody speak to me. I just saw something really cool. Where is it? Where is it? Progress task. Come on, come on, talk to me. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, apparently somewhere in this world, a carrot with a strange mutation has been born. And I, I, I don't know if it's going to fall prey to these rabbits. I have no idea. Uh, is this the carrot with a strange mutation? How do I find a carrot with a strange mutation? I feel like I have been gypped out of something special. So keep your eyes open for very curious carrots in the future, my friends. I almost feel like I need to add in a fox onto this side of the land now to kind of balance everything out. Ah, but we'll worry about that later. For now, my friends, we return to Tata's jungle, and I will be more careful at jumping on top of mutations in the future. I could have sworn there was a way. I could have sworn. Is there like a really cool... Hello, carrot? There's only 34 carrots in the world. Maybe I could count all of them. <laughs> All right, all right. I just have to accept that the carrot is probably gone. Yeah. Uh, but all right, so we return once more to what will hopefully be the future site of a magnificent jungle, but is more just kind of like a, uh, a little dollop of green on top of a hill right now. And we are going to continue to try to make this into something fantastic, especially with the giant jungle mushrooms that I am trying to breed up, making them bigger and bigger and bigger than ever before. Uh, I'm very pleased with the fact that my giant blue mushrooms continue on. Ooh, that's like a 22, 23! Oh, you're amazing! All right, how can I keep you? Oh man, okay. Population density is too high for the mushrooms. Uh, you're only like 18. Can I go ahead and just like remove you and make this guy happy again? Sure enough, sure enough. And I might have some time now that he's become healthier. Let's see if we can tweak. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I'm going to add like 2% and hopefully it will pass on even larger children uh, to this mushroom. Whew. But all right. So some deep breaths, curious carrots and giant mushrooms. And I do want to carry on with trying to build up the jungle. We still have a lot of wasteland over here. And this is potential land that could definitely turn into something rich and vibrant, full of different insects and full of different animals like frogs, the warthog population, which has struggled so tremendously over on the other side of the map, might be very happy to join butterflies and frogs and toads, which evolved from frogs apparently, and toucans. I really, really want to hurry so that this little sparrow and its descendants will be able to spread their way out into the jungle and become toucans. So what do we need to evolve my precious little sparrow, who's who's gonna die of old age at this rate, unfortunately. <laughs> but what do we need to evolve a sparrow into a toucan? Two canopy trees. So canopy trees are gonna be one of my first goals because I love the birds. So let's pick a goal. There's too many goals. I have to pick a goal and stick to it today in order to make things happen. So you guys heard it here first, canopy tree. And look at how cool some of these look, oh my gosh. All right, what would I need to get a canopy tree? Oh, it's that gigantic, really cool looking tree. And we have to evolve it from a fiscus. And we have to evolve a fiscus from a vine tree that is rather large. Okay, so we need to find a way to increase the size on the vine trees. All of these are just normal vine trees. Um, let's go ahead and increase the size on this one right here. And it needs to be increased at least to 1.06. So let's just be a little bit on the safe side and go really big to like 15%. There we go. Since we are earning 20,000 DP per minute, thanks to our wonderful little tropical fish. Thank you so much, tropical fish. And look at all of our turtles. Holy cow, there's a lot of turtles. I think I need to like move some of them. Where's a really big one? Because I'm trying to breed up really large turtles. Whoa, okay, there's some really large turtles over here. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, 1.22? Sterling, you're huge! I'm gonna go ahead and we're- Oh, he's very expensive to transplant, though. Oh, Sterling, why do you have to be so expensive? But I really want to breed up, like, huge turtles. That would be so cool. And Sterling is one of the biggest turtles I've seen yet. Um, I think I can safely move him, like, over here. Are you gonna be okay over here, buddy? He doesn't like the environment very much. How can I fix that real fast? He likes riverbed and tropical. And he likes grasses and flowers. Whoops. Alright, I've already, already messed some things up. Alright, what if I can put this over there? Tropical seaweed over here. And then he likes grasses, huh? What about some flowery grasses down here to make it more tropical? Ooh, that's very expensive on the DP. But he's a little happier. And he likes fallen fruit. So let's get a banana tree or a palm tree over here. Let's see. Bananas like to be up high. Not ideal. Poor biome. Hmm. Good. Altitude factor really struggles with those guys. Okay, let's try palm tree. Suitable biome. Well, we can change that over time with some leafy plants. There we go. The leafy plants will help establish this as a stronger tropical presence. Alright, are you going to be okay, Spencer? Okay, that's the coral. Coral is unhappy. Or sterling. Alright, sterling is a little bit happier. So we need to make this a little bit of a tropical atoll. And I think that he will be content. How did I get ugh, on turtles? I was going to be doing something else. And then I just got so worried about this turtle. I want to make sure he's going to be okay. And I need more fruit for him. Maybe a palm tree. Alright, palm tree would be okay right here. There we go. And then the palm trees really like to be next to large rocks. Alright, well first, we're going to rescue this turtle. And after we rescue this turtle, then we'll go ahead and carry on with trying to get, let's see, tropical flower. The tropical flower do spread the tropical biome, so I should probably go ahead. Let's hurry and get a tropical flower over here. Alright, how's that, buddy? Yay, Sterling is super happy! So we're gonna call him, uh, he's kind of like a big boy. I'm gonna call him Pizza. <laughs> because he's so big. I, uh, he's gonna be Pizza and hopefully he will have many huge, like, children. And we will try to increase the size of this tortoise family even more with a little pinch. There we go. How much? I can only do, like, one more percentage increase for now. But all right, now that I have been distracted by curious carrots and a tortoise named Pizza, uh, we can move on. We have a whole bunch of new vine trees, which can actually be turned into fiscus trees. Thank goodness. We'll go ahead and we will start trying to get a fiscus tree breeding. And then let's get rid of this wasteland. If I have learned anything from the amazing, amazing nourishment that this open ocean full of fish has really given me. It's that the more creatures you have, the more you can really start building your world thanks to that climb in DP. So I want to continue to make the DP go up. Look at my poor little sparrow, hopefully. <laughs> I'm trying, little guy. Hopefully we can have the sparrow be happy. All right, we've got the banana trees. They're pretty unhappy because they want a tropical environment up along here. That sounds like a good idea to me. Hmm. Okay, it seems to be spreading on its own. Good. Alright, we'll get a little bit more of a tropical environment there. The sparrow is just doing what it can. I think it's actually starting to come to nest in Tata's jungle. This tortoise, Pizza, is doing pretty good. He's actually okay hanging out up here. I'm pretty happy with that. He'll actually come all the way up into the jungle, which is pretty cool. Alright. And we're working on our fiscus. I think that's... And look at all of our little... Oh, I love looking at all of our, our little lizards. Alright, and Cotton, you are a old, old turtle. We're gonna hide. There we go. I might have to move some of the small turtles. Where do they like to go? I think they also like to go into riverbeds. Yeah, they do also like to go in riverbeds, so I might be able to start putting turtles over in some of our other ponds, which would be really fun. Okay, good, good, good. 
All right, so let's hang out with this fiscus and keep an eye on hopefully my my mushrooms. How big are you? Look at that! They're turning into giant mushrooms. This is so cool. I am so proud. Anybody who's too small and teeny tiny is gonna get out of here. Hey, that's right, you get out of here. Hey, no, not you! All right, like this one, we can actually go ahead and remove because it's too small. And hopefully that will encourage- hey, get out of here, you're too small. Hopefully that'll encourage the big mushrooms to continue to establish themselves. Nice. All right, selectively breeding and pruning our mushrooms. Yes, and we have evolved the fiscus tree! In you go, my dear. What do you need? Oh, you are happy as the day can be. And in order to evolve into a canopy tree, it needs toads nearby. And we need to have it even bigger. It must be 1.20. Let's just not even waste any time. We're gonna crank that up, like, right away. 1.20. Boom. We'll go ahead and work on getting big fiscus trees. Who's starving? My chickens! Really? I would think that there would be enough of a fox population to keep my chickens in check. But I wonder if we need- there's a whole bunch of goats? Do we still have wolves? Sure enough! We do! Look, they're coming back from a hunt! They're coming back from Purple Valley! Look, or lilac- lilac, uh, fields. And the lilac fields are still doing good. I'm gonna have to move this oak tree. No, the population density is low enough, the oak tree is happy. And I still have my purple tulips, that's wonderful. We have a nut tree that is trying its best to survive up on these edges. We should put in a squirrel! If there's nut trees around here, and maybe some berry bushes, we should have some, some squirrels. Uh, or maybe... Here, we'll come over to these guys. No requirement. Some sparrows. They'd be happy here. And they they would have babies and there are there are some nut trees so i feel like we should have a squirrel or two or three uh rushing around here as well would the guinea pigs be happy here probably not i do love my guinea pigs though oh look at our world this is fantastic all right let's see if i can actually focus for once pizza you distracted me have you had any children yet okay you've got to have some babies before you go okay i'm trying to make it more tropical over here I can only do so much with the DP that I have. All right, so let's see if we can get some large fiscuses. And I definitely need to spread more aggressively some of the jungle biome down here using a combination of jungle grass and the jungle plants. The jungle plants really love rocks and stones as usual. So we're gonna work on putting down a whole bunch of stones to kind of guide where the jungle will go. I really love this part. I know that may seem a little odd to say, but it just gives you such an opportunity to sort of, uh, kind of like what we did with uh, all of the coastline. I feel like where you place the stones really is kind of like drawing the broad outlines of where you eventually want these entire populations of a new habitat to go. So I'm just imagining like a thick forest over here full of toucans and trees. And you have to put the stones down to encourage the plants. Who died? Oh no, a couple of my fish are diseased. Why? Man, you guys are like dying fast. Because it's not tropical enough? Oh, it's very poorly tropical. What is even going on there? I think that we need more shells. And like, yeah, th see, that's the other thing. You need more diversity. And I don't really have any coral that has made its way over here to help maintain this area. Okay, can I put a coral down really quickly? Um, I could. The biome is not very suitable for coral and it is so very fussy. Let me go ahead and start putting down a few more of the tropical seaweed. I'm sorry, little fish. Oh, and you're a beautiful mutation, too. Gosh, I'm really- I'm sorry about that. Uh, okay, but I'm gonna have to focus if I'm gonna get anything done. <gasps> Pizza, you had a child! I am so proud of you! I'm gonna name him Pepperoni. This child's name is Sparkle. It's a little smaller. Okay. You're gonna be Pepper. Short for Pepperoni. And Pizza and Pepperoni. <laughs> Oh, I love it. You two need to grow up and be gigantic turtles. So you're gonna be a, a long-term experiment down there, you hear me? 
All right, and you can see where I have actually put down the rocks. You can see some of the jungle plants spreading. So that's a good sign. Okay, let's go ahead and we are going to spread more jungle. Let's get the jungle grass down here. Nice and cheap. All right. And let's speed things up for a little bit. We can check in on our fiscus. Look at those beautiful vines. I am really looking forward to watching- Oh, pizza! You're just having so many babies! Now you had Julius, who is not very big. Think big thoughts, pizza. Big thoughts. Oh wait, actually, Pepper is huge compared. Gosh, I'm really excited. Pepper, you need to like- you need to stay really healthy, okay? All right, we do have our fiscus. It is ridiculously happy. It needs to give us some children so it can become a canopy tree. So, oh, a strange tropical sea reed has been born. Where? Is it this one? Okay, what is strange about it? Is it the size? Is it the coloration? Uh, nobody eat this one. Editability, decrease. The oh, is it the editability is so high? That's very, very high compared to, well, a lot of the edibility of the seaweed here seems to be going up, which is a good thing, but that's another strange mutation, so I'm keeping an eye on it. All right, let's get the daylight in here. If we get a sudden, a sudden turtle incursion, we'll grab it and run. Okay, I'm not really noticing what is different about it. Is the coloration different? I don't think so. The editability? What is different about this one? I mean, the color? The growth rate? No. Generation 40, generation 39. Hmm. Hmm. Does it have a buff of some kind? Interesting. Alright, well we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna transplant it just to be safe. And I'm gonna move it like over... Where's somewhere I haven't really really gotten going on yet. Like over, maybe around... There's turtles there. Here? Are you gonna be- No, 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 don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Wait for me! I'm coming! Stones! 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 Here, I'll get you more- more tropical kelp! Hang in there! Tropical seaweed! Tropical seaweed! You have friends and family now! I was- No! I was trying so hard! Maybe there was some sort of mutation with it that just made it too weak. Oh gosh. All right, and meanwhile, I have just been completely um, distracted this whole time. Well, that wasn't what I had planned, um, to be completely blunt. We still have our sparrow spinning around. Uh, we have a couple turtles that have been born. Uh, Julius is not very big, but Pepper is a bit bigger. But for some reason, Pepper is just not doing very well. Pepper, did you- you're eating a coconut? Uh, Julius? Huh. Pizza is like healthier than Pepper for some darn reason, and I don't know why. Huh. Well. Alright, we'll figure this out. There's a vine tree trying to put itself down there. <gasps> and we have a fiscus! Is it big enough? Oh, it's getting there, guys! Our first vine tree has passed on, and we now have a brand new fiscus that is 1.18 in size. We just need to crank that up a teensy bit more, and then we will start having the trees that are going to be big enough to make canopy trees. So I'm going to increase that just a pinch. There we go. Did that work? Nope. Alright, let's try this again. Boom, there we go. So we should have huge fiscus trees coming in. How are our jungle mushrooms doing? They are continuing to grow massive in size. <gasps> Especially this one. Oh my gosh, 1.30. That's fantastic. I hope that you go on to have like many, many children, you. I'm gonna increase that a little bit. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, I'll wait to increase that. <laughs> We'll come back to that. All right, but I have been way too distracted this time. Apologies. There were turtles. There were curious carrots. There was all sorts of chaos going on. Curious carrots and chaos kind of sums up today. 
But next time I am going to really focus because I want to give this poor little sparrow somewhere to rest and somewhere to evolve into a toucan. We are going to spread the trickster's jungle and we are going to work on evolving our way up to the canopy tree. So I will see you guys next time. If you could do please a leave a like for the sake of Pete, who apparently is another large turtle. We are still working on getting those bigger turtles. Uh, it looks like it's a little tricky. I might want to wait for some of the playful, <laughs> the playful experiments until we have more DP. And if you would like to join this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.